All right, I'm about to make a ring out of desert ironwood. Um, switching things up a little bit. Normally I don't put the, uh, the wood right in the chuck, but I saw someone else did it and I figured I'd give it a try. So just an inch and a half by inch and a half square piece of ironwood burl. Um, I'm gonna drill a hole through it first with a 20 millimeter Forstner bit. And once, that, uh, once that's done, I'll go ahead and get out my uh, square carbide cutter to get the right inside or out yeah inside diameter for the um, for the ring core and once I've done that I'm gonna glue it in with super glue CA and um, I'm gonna hit it with some activator real quick because I'm not trying to be on this video forever tonight but uh, we'll see just how long it takes hope uh, Hope you get something out of it. I'm gonna make a size eight. So I guess I need to rough up my core first. So let me flip around and do that real quick, and I'll be right back. All right. That's that. Just roughed it up with a belt sander real quick. I just put it on my finger and I run it on the belt. It pulls itself along and roughs up the surface so the sea egg would fit, uh, sticks a little bit better. So for the Forstner bit, I turn the speed way, way down. And then uh, once I get the, uh, the ring on the mandrel, then I turn it, or start turning the, the hole, I turn it way up. So once I'm done with the Forstner bit, I go ahead and I just take the tailstock off because it just gets in the way otherwise. And this is the tedious part. Got to get that to fit, but you don't want it too big, but you don't want it too small. Get a better angle on that. Good 
getting close. Almost. That's it. All right, so that fits. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. That fits nice. Ooh, only problem is, well, so that Forstner bit blew out a little bit here in the back. I don't know if you can see it. But um, luckily, my blank is wide enough that all that blowout is going to go away if I glue it in right. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it in. And um, so I'm going to stop the video. Once I've got it glued in, I'll go ahead and uh, start recording again so you can see the outside turning.